Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back Framework Fortune community and welcome to Cosmos. Now this is one of my favorite ecosystems, probably my favorite ecosystem so far out of any blockchains that are out there. And that includes Bitcoin and Ethereum. And we're going to dive into Cosmos in this video and I'm going to show you a couple of things of why I like this so much. And of course we will dive into it deeper and deeper as time goes on because they are constantly adding different things. So this website is beautiful, one of the best looking websites out of a lot of the blockchains. If you've ever used Tron, I've used Tron and I absolutely hate it. This is a lot cleaner, a lot easier to use. They have 256 plus apps and services and growing 114 billion plus digital assets under management. And you see the Cosmos apps and services connect using IBC, the Inner Blockchain Communication Protocol. This innovation enables you to freely exchange assets and data across sovereign, decentralized blockchain. So Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano, a lot of those, they are layer one solutions and most of the apps are built on top of the blockchain. Cosmos allows for other blockchains to be built and bridge to the Cosmos blockchain. So instead of being built on top of a layer one, each app is its own layer one. So each app will have its own coin. And this is what excites me about Cosmos is because of that interchain connection. And you'll see why in some of the apps that I'm going to show you that are in this ecosystem. So the Cosmos hub is the center of the blockchain. It provides all the vital services. It's basically like your layer one. But we have the marketplace, and you see they're set to operate next-gen decentralized exchange, swapping digital assets from across the interchain with very low fees and instant transaction confirmation. And I can personally, from experience, verify this is true. This is very true. The fees on the decks that we're going to look at that's in the system is actually a couple, but the one I've been using is only pennies to swap Cosmos Atom for other coins in the ecosystem. Atom, which is the Cosmos coin, will be securing many chains in exchange for additional staking rewards. Are you able to stake Atom and get rewards? And some of those rewards are airdrops from new coins from blockchains that are being built in the Cosmos ecosystem. And you can learn a lot more about the Cosmos ecosystem. Some of the apps and programs really deep in depth, uh, like Persistence from Liam at Confident in Crypto, one of our good buddies over in the UK. So then you can see the router the core mission of the hub is to connect chains by establishing those IBC connections with, with compatible chains and operating decentralized bridges with chains like Ethereum and Bitcoin. Eventually, they are going to be connected to Ethereum and Bitcoin. I think they may already be with Ethereum. So the hub is extremely secure and it's the best place to hold digital assets and manage assets and manage accounts across many chains. If you use the Cosmos hub, you'll be able to place and hold multiple different coins from different chains. This is a proof of stake ecosystem. So all of the nodes are secured by the coin, the Atom coin, which has been on a tear lately. Now there's multiple ways to stake and we'll go ahead and click in here and look a little bit more about the Atom coin. So the total supply is 280 million and that's it. I'm pretty sure it's capped. And it's very easy to do this process. If you're new to staking in cryptos, you may be looking at this like, Wait, I've got to go to an exchange and then I got to transfer the atom to a wallet and then I got to select validators. What are those to delegate my atom to? But Cosmos has made it a very easy process. It is way simpler to do than it is to explain. And I'll show you guys in a little bit. Once you do stake your atom or delegate it, and this is true for most coins, it's going to lock it up and you can't transfer them. You'll have to unstake them. And I think with Adam, yeah, right here it says it. You have a 21 day waiting period before you can unstake or undelegate. So once you lock your Adam up, it's going to be locked for 21 days before you can access. Now, of course, if you're staking, you're not really worried about that because you're holding this for a long term investment. I like to consider staking a cash flowing asset and a great way to make passive income because all you're doing is investing your money buying these coins and staking them to secure the blockchain and just making rewards. You just get more Atom, like I said, at 
interest as well as those drops. But there's more coins within that Cosmos ecosystem that have way higher interest rates. And we'll be getting into those. So you can join the community chat. And this is where you're going to be able to get a lot of information from. If you're a developer, you can actually build pretty easily on the Cosmos blockchain. And you can do this with Starport. So if we go over here to Starport, you can get Starport in GitHub. And you can build, test, and launch your blockchain with a decentralized worldwide community. So you can make your own chain that is connected to Atom. And we're seeing a lot of apps do this. And you can see some big names here that came from the Cosmos ecosystem. Binance, Terra Luna. There's the Cosmos Hub, Crypto.com. You see tons of commercials for those and ThorChain. So Starport is built on top of the Cosmos SDK. So it's part of Cosmos and accelerates chain development by scaffolding everything you need so you can fo focus on business, business logic. 95% faster from idea to production code. Four of the top 20 blockchains built with Cosmos Transactions confirmed in seven seconds. And you can see right there, build your blockchain in minutes. So if you're interested in building your own blockchain, definitely check out Cosmos. But wait, there's more. So here are the apps that are built on this blockchain. And you can just go through and see how many they are. And they give you the white papers right here so you can read about them. And they even tell you what each little blockchain app is for. So you got a marketplace there with a Fondra. Agoric is smart contracts. Akash Network is microservice. Uh, we have social, finance, so plenty of DeFi, Anchor Protocol, Anchor Microservices. Both of those probably sound familiar if you're into crypto. Band, which is a marketplace. You have games. You have infrastructure. You got the Binance Chain decks you can use. You have a song app. And we keep scrolling down, you're going to see tons of different apps that reach across multiple sectors. And this is why... I am very excited about this chain. The ease of use to build on it, to build your business through a blockchain and connect it to an already happening blockchain like Cosmos is going to be great. That's why you see these businesses popping up with their chains in this ecosystem. So if you want to check these out, all you got to do is just go to cosmos.network backslash ecosystem black backslash apps. The link to Cosmos will be in the description. Now let's check out the tokens here. You can see Binance coin number one and they tell you the market cap, the price, and uh, the 24-hour chain. So we've got Binance in the ecosystem, Terra, of course Cosmos Hub, Crypto.coin, Terra USD, Thorchain, Osmosis, which is an interesting DEX, Qcoin, Kava, Fetch.ai, which we're going to dive deeper into because I like this project a lot, Persistence, Secret, Anchor Protocol, there's Akash again, Metablock, Injective Protocol, which is a very exciting project coming. It's a DEX that may be the first DEX where you could actually be able to day trade and have some tools to work with. And this is going to be about synthetic assets and all of that. So Liam's real big into that one, just like he is Persistence. So you can find out more from him too. But we got Band Protocol, Mirror Protocol, which is another synthetic network. Oasis, Dawn, Iris, and you see all these different coins of different price ranges from the different apps within the Cosmos ecosystem. So what wallets do we use? Because you have a lot of wallets. So the wallet that I use is Kepler. Kepler is just a browser extension. If I pull Kepler up right here, this K, this is the app. This is the wallet. So you can select through all these different chains that are in the Cosmos ecosystem. Not just Cosmos Atom. You can hold Osmosis, Secret Network, Akash, Crypto.org, and so on. Persistence is another one. And you can see they're adding beta stuff in there as well. They keep adding to this wallet. And I like this wallet. You can see I have four atoms staked in this wallet. And then I do have a little reward there pending of a little bit of stake. 10.67% as of now. But to claim your reward, you just hit the claim button and it will take you to a little contract that you just... Put your password in for Kepler as your signature, and boom, you're done. You've claimed it. To stake, you just go to stake, and it's going to open up the whole Kepler wallet here. If you want to stake Cosmos, you'll be looking at this screen, and you won't have anything right here because you haven't staked anything yet. I'm already staking. You see I spread, I spread a little bit of it across two different of these delegators. These are the people who are securing the nodes, keeping 
the blockchain and the ecosystem secure. And if you're new to cryptos in general, there are plenty of different protocols in place to keep people, these, no, these node validators, in check so they don't do any screwy stuff. If they do anything screwy, they will lose all their money. And that is the risk of staking. If one of these do something sketchy or messes up, the pool that their, their staking pool that they've been delegated could take a hit. So you do risk losing some money if you pick some delegators that are not good. So I like to pick the delegators that have quite a bit of voting power. And we can see Stakefish was number five on that list. And they are staking nine million atom. If this delegator has nine million atom in their pool, that is a lot of money. This person is not going to want to screw up because they're going to lose nine million atom worth of USD, which right now atom's around 40 bucks. So you can do that math. That's a lot of money. Now the commission structure here is how much you are paying the delegator. So is, is the fee that the delegator is taking from you delegating your token. So on your 10% commission with Binance staking, 2.5 of that is going to go to Binance staking. If you use Dokia Capital, 15% is going to go to that place. Now there's some like this that are 100%, so you don't want to use those because you're not going to make any interest. They're going to keep all of it. I'm not exactly sure what the point of these are. I think they're more of uh, just for extra security. They're not really meant to make money. They're just meant to secure. And then you can see Coinbase is even on here, 20% commission. And you can that and right below that is Stakefish with a nice easy 4%. So that's what I'm looking for. Ones with Heavy voting power, but low fees at the same time. But 4 million in Atom is still a lot of Atom. So I'm gaining all my 10% on SG1 and gaining about 6.7% with Stakefish. Every contract, when you go to stake, say if you want to stake with Dokia Capital, you would press Manage, and then they'll show you the website so you can go and check out who you're staking your money to and then you would just put in your amount and you would press delegate and one of those little contracts would pop up now if you're an ethereum user when contracts pop up the gas fees probably scare the piss out of you all the gas fees in the cosmos ecosystem are literally pennies it takes pennies to do exchanges but the biggest reason besides i just like being part of the cosmos ecosystem the biggest reason why i'm staking even though it's only 10 percent you get airdrops, like I said earlier in the video, from certain new blockchains or, or recent blockchains in the Cosmos ecosystem. So that's free money. It's free coins you're going to get. I've not done my research on all of these, but the ones that I have, I'm staking, like Akash. You can see I have 64 Akash being staked. Now Akash gains, I think it's about 30 or 40%. And I also stake Iris, which is around 30%. Persistence, which is 35, I think, or 40, something like that. Sentinel, which is quite a bit. 2,500 Sentinel staked. They're very cheap. They're like 8 cents. But I have made, in a couple of weeks that I've been staking it, probably about a month, I've made 118 of those coins. So if this ever goes up in price quite a bit, you know, that 118 coins is going to add to my wealth. But, like I was saying earlier, if you look at it like a cash flowing asset, you're investing in this. If you invest enough, this is almost like a dividend payment in a stock. So you'll be able to get some nice rewards because they pay out at any time. You can claim these rewards whenever. So these are a great cash flowing asset. Now, once you've got the Kepler wallet and you've got your Cosmos Atom, the way I do it is I buy my Atom off of Voyager because it's free commissions and then I send it over to the Kepler wallet, which, you know, it costs a little bit, but not too much. But then you need to go to a DEX. So the DEX we're going to go to is the Gravity DEX. This is a new DEX that they just put out a couple of months ago, and you have to go to Emerus to launch the actual DEX. And here we go, we're entering the portal. Look how clean this is. Look how fast that was. So this is a demo account. You can swap multiple of these coins, and they're still adding to this. This is really recently new. So I would take my Cosmos and then I would select one of the assets that I want to switch it out for. Say if I want to get some persistence, I would switch it to persistence. For five atom, which is about 200 bucks, the normal fee is 50 cents. So you got a swap fee. So 
Altogether, it's 78 cents at the moment, which Adam is high in price, and it's still only 50 cents. But you could do a slow transaction if you're not in any hurry, and it'll only be 19 cents. So as Cosmos grows and continue to get staked, the price could continue to go higher, which means the fees will get a little higher, but I'm pretty sure they have protocols to keep fees low. And these are still really low fees compared to most other exchanges. The same way you would do this, we continue, we'll get a contract, and you can see it's 0 .06 DVPN, and then you'll be able to send it. Now, something that I ran into when you're sending so you can see Adam is on the Cosmos hub. Well, because there's multiple chains, if you use Adam to get one of these other tokens, you're going and you want to stake with the Kepler wallet, your Adam is or your whatever you're trading for is going to be on the Cosmos hub chain and you got to send it. So let's say we bought some Akash, some AKT here at 362. We did the swap for some Cosmos. We didn't want to go to send and we would go to move assets. And then you can see the Cosmos hub there, and you can find your chain to switch it to the to the Akash network. So that's going from Akash to Cosmos. So we want to go from Cosmos to Akash. And you can see that's only 50 cents. So it's a pretty small fee once again. You can do 19 cents if you want to. But you can get them on the chain you need to if you're staking in the Kepler wallet. Now, if you're just buying and trading or whatever, uh, you know, you can just leave them on the Cosmos hub while you're trading on the Gravity Dex. So this is what I've been using is the Gravity Dex with the Kepler wallet to build cash flowing digital staking assets in the Cosmos eco. But that's pretty much it for this introduction to Cosmos and Kepler and Gravity Dex. There is a ton to learn about Cosmos and it continues to grow and get bigger and bigger. So I'm very excited about it. I love the staking opportunities, the high interest on a lot of these coins, the ability to be able to get the airdrops very fast and relatively cheap comparable to most if not all the exchanges out there that I've seen. So hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about the Cosmos ecosystem and other cool blockchains that I like and check into. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.